selected audience of very nice women only, it's the nicest of them all, Dame Edna Everidge! Hello, Potter! Original Mary Quant. It is. And it's in mint condition, possums, it is. Because, spookily enough, I'm the same size now as I was in the 60s. <laughs> and our lucky woman, this frock still fits me. I've had nothing let out, no alterations. My Quant is the same size now <laughs> as it was then. <laughs> Let's face it, not something Scylla Black could say. <laughs> Sister Bedgegood, are you in attendance, darling? Oh, Sister, stand by in case some women foam at the mouth or anywhere else is a matter of fact. <laughs> As Madge Allsop, my bridesmaid and constant New Zealand travelling companion, shows us some of the wonderful prizes that you could win on Neighbourhood Watch. <laughs> First prize, the holiday of a lifetime aboard the Sea Lion 200 Santa. <laughs> you will need moisturising, so help yourself to a lifetime supply of juicy Nivea creams. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> or how about a romantic four-star candlelit dinner for two in a top revolving restaurant all alone with a fascinating mystery companion. <laughs> Or just settle for 20 sessions with Dave Edna's personal trainer, Raunchy Roberto. Oh, isn't that exciting? <laughs> Roberto, isn't he gorgeous, girls? People so admire his wonderful bulges, and so do I. <laughs> well, now it's time to choose my contestants with my magic gladdy. Yes, this is my purple possum picker. <laughs> Vibrating, it's getting out of control now. It, it's, it's moving in on you. <laughs> stand up, stand up, please. Quick sticks. Hello, darling. Hello. What's your name? Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Is that spelled J A C Q U? C K I E. <laughs> One of my favourite spellings of Jackie Jackie. <laughs> it's lovely. You are picked, possum. You are. <laughs> It's going over here now. It's got a life of its own. Who are you? <laughs> Hello, Eve. <laughs> Evie, E. -E. <laughs> You're the same forwards as backwards, Eve. <laughs> Stand up, Eve, darling, because my purple possum picker has picked you, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> you! Elaine. 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 E L A 
I I N E a line. You dear woman, stand up because you're picked. Oh. Come with me. This way. Come on, darling Jackie. Here we are. On you go. On to the stage. <laughs> on you go, girl. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> well, as soon as a line. Jackie and Eve went out of sight. They entered a soundproof room. Why, I can hear you asking. Because what I'm going to say now, possums, must remain a secret between you, me, and most of the rest of the world via satellite. <laughs> I said this game show was about homes. It isn't. It's about one home. Elaine's home. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that is Elaine's home. Now, Elaine doesn't know, but this show is all about her home. I have a live TV camera <laughs> right outside her home now, ready to go in. Are you there, Trevor? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Poor Elaine. She's out there now. She's so excited. She's not even noticing. Sister Bedgood's cold, red hands scuttling all over her body and planting her microphone. She's <laughs> chatting to Eve and... Jackie, finding out the names of their kitties, swapping recipes, discussing the menopause. <laughs> little little realising that in two minutes the entire human race will be traipsing in her front door, <laughs> lounging in her airing cupboard. <laughs> People say the British are a little bit inhospitable, don't they? Ooh, shh, shh. They're coming back. <laughs> Here they are. Welcome back, Elaine, Jackie and Eve. Shoes comfortable, Elaine? Yes, fine. Yes, thank they you. look so comfortable too. <laughs> so does your frock. Well, <laughs> now, we're going to start with simple questions. Watch the big screen. All right? Now, who lives in this home? <laughs> Girl who's coming out of it. <laughs> Eve. Eve. We are dealing with a laser sharp intellect. <laughs> the girl who's coming out of it lives in it, does she? And who might she be? Yes. Scarlet O'Hara. Scarlet O'Hara, Elaine, in Gone with the Wind. Yes! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> well, you're clever. Whose home is this? Oh, yes. <laughs> the Sydney Opera people. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're very, very warm. Do you have a suggestion, Jackie? Australians? Australians. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's the home of Dame Joan Sutherland. It is. And she oh. lives... It's exact replica of the Sydney Opera House that she lives <laughs> in. Isn't that lovely? Now, here's a little one that's a wee bit more difficult. Though it might be easy for one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives here? I put them new curtains on. <laughs> oh, you mean that's your home? You must be hallucinating, darling. <laughs> Sister Bedgood must have overprescribed. <laughs> well, if you're, you're disqualified, I'm afraid, Elaine, if it's your home. Oh, no, isn't that sorry. sad? Still, you can be an adjudicator. Sit here. Sit here, darling. Yeah. It's your home. Yes. It's big, isn't it? It's enormous. Why have you got two front doors, Elaine? <laughs> Because that belongs to next door. Next door? A mirror image of your own home next door. Does that worry you at all, Elaine? <laughs> what no. copycats they are, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so which half is yours, Possum? That, that side. Yeah. Oh, you, what a memory you've got, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know, darling, that we have a lovely camera crew outside your home now, ready to go in? <laughs> are you there, Trevor? <laughs> Trevor, 
We'll ring the doorbell, oh, darling. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> Who's going to answer the front door? They're out. Everybody's out, actually. Everybody's out? Oh, how, what an anticlimax that will be. Well, we'd better ring this knocker on this empty home. Oh, there's someone coming. Good heavens, how spooky. <laughs> trying to look like you. <laughs> you always wanted to imitate me, Madge, but now she's setting her sights a little bit lower. I can see that on me. Show us in, will you, Madge? Oh, lovely. She's made herself very much at home in your dwelling. Oh, Madge, take us into the front room, will you, darling? Quick sticks. Oh, is that your... Oh, how lovely. That's beautiful. What's that? Is that your fireplace? Good heavens, it's quite an item. Isn't it, Elaine? <laughs> Beautiful. Is this happening now? It's happening now as we speak. Are you worried? Well, just as well. I mean, it's nice. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to know it's still there, isn't it? <laughs> it's strange, though, isn't it? That sort of. What are those two egg shaped things? One a bit lower than the other with a big thing sticking up in the middle. What? <laughs> it kind of rings a distant. What? <laughs> it's your chimney. You must burn a lot of things in there, oh, darling. Yeah. Yeah. What's on the window ledge? Let's glide up. Oh, how lovely, Elaine. Look, doilies! <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten about doilies. I've <laughs> Elaine, they're lovely. Did you make them? No. Who no. did them for you? You've got them in a boot sale. You've got them in a, in a boot sale, did you? How lovely. It's nice to know that people can still get a shilling for a doily, isn't it? <laughs> They're very effective. They stop the ducks from doing they big do. jobs on they the mantel. Do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. What's that beside there, Madge? Oh, don't, Down don't there. Madge. <laughs> what? no, What's in there? No, Madge. Oh, Madge. What? in your work basket. What are you, are you weaving cheese? Or is it, for, is it for corns or something? It's very strange. Madge, stop, you'll break it, darling. Put it in there. Why is it in there, darling? Because I have... Oh, no, Madge, please. What else has she Madge, found in Madge. there? Madge. Oh, uh, look. It's a junk bag. A junk bag. Put it down, Madge. We're intruding on this woman's privacy. <laughs> I think we should go into the kitchen now, darling. Look at that, it's beginning to suit her, your brunch coat, isn't it? <laughs> oh, what's that on the floor? A dog. A dog? Look, it's got a very long neck, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, do they have long necks like yes. that? Do they? Yes. I thought it was another kind of dog. We've got them in Australia. They grow, they've evolved a very long neck, so they can sniff you without standing on their hind legs. <laughs> I think they're called basset hound. No, gusset hound. <laughs> yes. I can feel that cold nose now. <laughs> Let's go into the kitchen and have a bit of a look around. I'm adoring this, aren't you, Elaine? Mm. Oh, that's your kitchen? It's lovely. Look at the stove. It seems to have tea towels on it. I know. Look how sparkling that is. Look, it's spotless, isn't it? It's like a new pin, isn't it, audience? It's lovely. Could have been installed yesterday. What's in the cupboard under there? Oh, no, please don't. <laughs> What's in there? What's that? What is that? What That's is it? The top I use for cooking. But what, what about the other top? That's for show. For show? <laughs> For sh oh, Madge, it's covered with oil and grease. You mean you just have a, a little grid for show? 
I'm ashamed of you, darling. You disturbed and devious woman. <laughs> Your friends will have gone home. <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? Oh, please don't. Your makeup. What are those scissors for? Are they for nostril tufts? Yes. You keep your makeup under the sink? Yes. How can you make up in a crouching position? <laughs> Let's have a look in the fridge, Madge, can we please? Oh. What's that bottle? It's water. Is it? Yes. Whose? My son's. You keep your son's? <laughs> <laughs> hands after you've been handling <laughs> oh, still uh, move to the cupboard match please <laughs> there must be a cupboard up there let's have a look in there isn't this exciting <coughs> keeping your eyes peeled we're having a quiz in a minute <laughs> oh look what's in that bottle night nurse night nurse don't let Madge near it please <laughs> she's hooked on night nurse she gets bombed out on night nurse I'm afraid <laughs> she's, a, she's, she's drinking it already <laughs> Be a right off after that. Well, girls, I hope you kept your eyes peeled, did you? Because now we're going to have a few little questions. What colour was Elaine's sofa? Maroon. Jackie? Maroon? Maroon? What colour was it? Brown. brown, I'm sorry. Brown is a <laughs> maroon is a reddish brown. Yeah, you yeah. were very close. I'm going to give you a point, Jackie. Point for Jackie. In Elaine's front door, was the glass clear or Leaded. Leaded. I wasn't talking about her petrol, I was talking about her glass. <laughs> was the glass clear or wobbly? Beveled. Wobbly. <laughs> very good, both. A point each. Point. I'm being very generous this time. <laughs> Going up Elaine's fireplace. <laughs> How many flying ducks were there? Two. Jackie? Two. Two. How many? Yes. Two. Were there always two? How do yes. you get them to stick to that imitation stone? Blue tack. Blue tack. <laughs> you clever woman. Doilies and blue tack. Keep this woman's keep this woman's life together. Does Elaine's household drink British tap water or French tap water out of fancy bottles? <laughs> Eve. Well, there was a funny bottle in the fridge, wasn't there, that she said was her son's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Out of bottles? It was certainly a funny bottle, and I don't think it was drinkable, I'm afraid. <laughs> but be that as it may, out of bottles, do you? Out of bottles. Mm. French tap water, out of fancy bottles. Yes, lovely. Judging by Elaine's walls, what colour was the large can of paint which fell off a lorry <laughs> in her road? <laughs> Jackie? Magnolia. Magnolia, what a good guess. White. White. Much the same. A yes. point for you, Jackie. <laughs> yes, this is exciting. This is exciting. But now, my dear Elaine, you better say your prayers because in a minute we're going up your stairs. <laughs> cobwebs away except of course there are no cobwebs at Elaine's <laughs> well I hope you've said your prayers Elaine mm. because right now we're going up your stairs that's right Madge what are you doing what's she got there cups and things oh. <laughs> where is oh that must be your bedroom who's that Who's that in bed? <laughs> it's my dad. It's 
you do it. What's, what's happening? I wonder why you put John was on the line. <laughs> She's been drinking too much night nurse. <laughs> Ignore them, Trevor. Ignore them. We've got work to do, Trevor. Let's have a look, please, in the bedside cupboard, please. Oh, please don't. What's <laughs> Why not? I don't know oh, what. No. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, you look perfectly all right. It's... Look what's under what's under those panties. <laughs> oh, a strange mirror. Yeah. What oh, do you no, do with please. that, darling? I don't know. Do you check out? <laughs> do you check to see that your seams of your pantyhose yeah. are straight yeah. by <laughs> straddling that drawer? <laughs> I suppose. Do you use that for Operation Crotch Watch? <laughs> Crouching on the dressing table. <laughs> Trevor, let's look in the bathroom, Possum. Oh, you've got a B-day. Bit narrow, you'd need thin legs to... <laughs> and look at the tiles. Look at those tiles. How do you get that effect? <laughs> I suppose you... You stand there with no clothes on and a tennis ball dipped in Daddy's sauce. <laughs> And you just throw it at the wall. It, it's messy, but it has a lovely random effect, yes. hasn't it? Yes. Most unusual. And what's that, uh, Trevor, on the corner of the bar? <laughs> <laughs> what's that thing? A toilet roll holder. To a toilet roll holder. But, Elaine, please, what's a toilet roll doing on the side of the bath? <laughs> Is it there? In case, oh. how can I express this? In case you're having a bath and haven't quite finished. <laughs> Toilet roll holder. What's that? It's in the form of a dog. Oh, look, it looks as though it's been dropped in something. <laughs> well, we're going to have a little quiz now. Does Elaine have a B day? Yes. Do you? Do you? Mm -hmm. You do. Yes, yeah, a sort of a B day. <laughs> How many tennis ball splodges on the bathroom <laughs> top? Wait a minute, 20, 110 or 73? Eve? 110. 110? Questions. 73, I'd have thought. No, 110! <laughs> <laughs> I know more about your bathroom than you do. <laughs> <laughs> what side of the bed was and is Elaine's father on? Left. Left. Well, I thought the right. Oh, left, yeah, left. Well, the studio audience is helping you, yeah, Elaine. You're quite right, Jackie. A point for Jackie. Five and four. This is thrilling. What colour were Elaine's father's Jim Jam bottoms? <laughs> Jackie? Blue and white stripes. Blue and white stripes? Green. Green. Who knows what <laughs> colour they are now? Four the month. Jarmus on the line. <laughs> Why didn't you say it then, if that's what you were going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you know Elaine pretty well by now, Eve and Jackie. Is she a woman who throws away her undies when they're clean or when they're dirty? <laughs> well, Eve? I don't think she throws them away. She's got a drawer full there, hasn't she? <laughs> this woman is a very sharp-witted woman. <laughs> Are you a woman who throws them away when they're clean or they're dirty, Elaine? You can tell, Edna. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> when they're dirty. Well, that's Frank, isn't it? <laughs> well, the final round. Here it is, girls. Which is Elaine's husband? Girls, don't you tell them. <laughs> Eve? Two. Two? What do you say, Aunt Jackie? One. One. <laughs> Which is he? Two. Two, I thought so. Let's meet him. Come on, darling. Here he is. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Mick. Hello, darling. Yes, it's Mick. Oh, thank you very much, Sister Bitchgood. Stand there, will you, Mick? Uh, well, 
what a lovely surprise he gave you. And you two have got a lot to say to each other. So <laughs> why not say it in a luxury hotel in Amsterdam in Holland? Look, tickets, oh. beautiful spending money, oh. darlings, oh, all paid fine. for by the Megastar Productions. There you are.